Good morning. Time to make the coffee. Today's flavor is toasted hazelnut. It's 51 degrees out, raining and cloudy, and it's going to be a high of 57. But the sun did come out for a little bit this morning, but we're supposed to be having rain for the next three days. So it's going to be a rainy week, but that's all right. I have lots of things I need to do in the house. And my winter sewing boxes and bags will be getting some nice rainwater. Hopefully that'll help. So this morning I've already, already been busy planting things in the uh, winter sewing bags. That seems to be going really well. I think I got a system down now. And I can use up some of my seeds that have been hanging out for a while and see what happens. And it won't be a waste because um, whatever doesn't grow is the soil's just getting dumped into the garden. So no biggie. What grows will get planted. What doesn't grow the soil will get reused. So we've got a good month and a half yet before our last frost. So I figured I might as well fool around with this stuff. It satisfies my gardening desires. And a lot of us that garden are kind of chomping at the bit around this time of the year. We just want to get out there and get our stuff done. At least that's the way I am. So the decluttering and things like that has to be on the back burner for a while. Although I do have to get out into my garage. It's horrendous. It looks like a hoarder lives out there. So here we go. Cheers. Yes, that hits the spot this morning. So I have lots of bags. I bought a bag uh, a box of 40 bags. I have lots of skewers. So as long as I still have dirt, I think I'll just keep planting. That might be fun. So I need to get my little starts. Probably upplant those, but I have the tomatoes and the peppers and pimentos inside. I'm, I'm doing those inside, although they say you can winter sow those too. But I'll try those next year. I'm trying to get a system down here so that I know what to plant when and what works, what doesn't work. So I'm working on a system. I do like systems. I don't like routine, but I do like systems. So I'm going to drink my coffee and plant a few more seeds and look at my budget book and see if any bills are due. I don't think so because those all come in the beginning of the month. So I'll meet you back at the budget book. Well, here I am at the budget book again. Yesterday I didn't spend any money. And so far today, I haven't spent any either, but the day isn't over yet. So I've used up all of my um, garden uh, skewers, the skewers. I made a bunch of bags this morning. And there's five of them here, and I've been planting herbs. So one more thing that I want to plant is flowers. I have a couple of planted flowers. I have um, calendula and cosmos planted, but I'd like to try and plant some petunias and marigolds uh, and some more zinnias. 
I want to plant as many flowers as I can to see what comes up and maybe I won't have to buy any this year. I'm not thinking that's going to happen, but you never know. So, um, I didn't spend anything today, but tomorrow I may have to spend something. I'm not sure if I need some more seeds. I have to look through all my seeds. I have a lot of old seeds, so I'm not sure what's going to come up. What I've been doing is mixing some of the old seeds in with the newer seeds, and then at least some of them will come up. So anyway, that's my budget for today. Um, so far, so good. And we only have uh, a week and a couple days left in the month. So we'll see how the rest of the month goes. All right, working on my low spend year, three months in. Let's see if I can continue this as much as I continued my refrigerator and freezer cook down, which I'm actually still doing. Just using up what I have. There's no point to buying a lot of new things when you have things in your house. All right, I'll be back in a little bit. All right, here's another thing that I'm trying to do to save money. Uh, I have some Idaho potatoes here and they came from a flash food box that I've had well I've had these for quite a while and they started to chit so what I'm doing is I cut off you're supposed to have like two no more than two eyes so I cut these off this one I cut off a couple days ago and it's already scarred over you can tell by the feel of it so I'm trying to um, I'll plant these and hopefully I'll get some potatoes. So this one was kind of in the middle. So I'll just, and what happens is this part will rot away and kind of feed the plant and then the roots will come out of here. I did this a couple years ago well, probably about three years ago. And I did have potatoes. They weren't epic size or anything, but um, that was a good way to get some free potatoes. And then I have another one here. Again, it was a flash food. And it has all kinds of eyes starting to chit. So I'm going to do that one too. Now I could eat this one, take out all the eyes, but... I'm, I'm just, I have other potatoes, so I'm just going to uh, try and grow this one. So I should be able to get at least another three or four potato plants out of this potato and another three over there. So we'll see another way to save money since I'm on a mission. All right. All right. It's getting to be about, oh, it's almost four o'clock. I missed my three o'clock deadline. No wonder I'm so tired. I've been working on planting things all morning. Um, so what I've been doing is making things ahead of, making the bags ahead of time. And I have enough to make two more bags and then I'll be out of skewers. I need three for each bag. So at some point, I'm going to have to buy some more skewers because I still want to plant some flowers. I have some, but uh, I want to plant more because I want to attract um, pollinators to my little container garden back there. So I'm having some tea. Cheers. I still have some of the Dollar Tree apple cranberry left, so I've been using that up too. And I'm starting to notice a difference in my uh, food stash. Not much, really. I have so much that it doesn't really make that big of a dent. But I do kind of see a little bit of a difference. And I'm really, really trying to 
work it so that um, I don't have to buy a lot of groceries. Uh, just replace what I use up. So keeping the meal simple, uh, eating what I have, and just not going to the grocery store and buying a bunch of ingredients for recipes. I'm just not. I'm cooking with what I have. So I'm really trying hard this year to um, stay within the budget. Yeah, I do go off the rails every now and then, and it's been really difficult, especially this month because it's gardening season is starting. And trying to get the seeds started and the soil and containers and all those things takes, takes some money. But I'm really trying to rein it in this year. Outside, I have pretty much everything that I need um, as far as containers go. But since I started the winter sowing this year, which has turned into spring sowing now, um, that's been a little bit of a cost, but not really that much. It's probably been under a hundred dollars. So that includes all the containers, the dirt, the seeds. So I really don't think that's too bad. And as I go on with this process, I won't have to buy as much uh, next year. Because last year I invested in some more city pickers with, uh, with a stand to raise it up. Um, I bought more little tables to raise up the city pickers that I already had without a, a, a raised base. So, you know, that was all an expense. So, I'm really trying very hard to get things in order so that my life will be, first of all, much simpler, and secondly, I know it doesn't seem like it because right now, when you're in transition, it, it takes a lot of work. But once you get to where you're going, it's much simpler. So that's what I'm trying to do. Streamline my food, my cooking, my shopping, um, my garden, and my house. So still lots of things to do, especially with the house. But I have a plan, and I want to stick with the plan. So, you know, if you don't have a plan about anything, you're just not going to get anywhere. You do have to make a plan. So, um, these are the, um, what I've been doing now is making up the bags with the skewers, and then writing on there what it is. And this will be for lavender. And then I also put a little steak inside, just in case this wears off because it's out in the elements. So this is what it looks like initially. So I have about five more different herbs that I want to plant. I planted a few others. And then this is... Oh, it's messy. But... This is a planted bag, and then I put another skewer on top, and it keeps it very, very stable. And just a clothespin to hold it open. So, since I didn't have any uh, milk jugs, I opted to go with those, and it was cheaper than buying containers. But I think I still want to get maybe two more containers. But I don't know. I'm going to keep planting in here and maybe I'll get everything um, all set without that expense. In the containers that I did, I divided them with some old styrofoam that I had. So I was able to plant two different things in the containers. So we'll see. There's nothing happening with those yet. But it's been pretty cold, so I think it's going to be another another three weeks maybe before I see any action, if I see any. 
I don't know, it's all new to me. So, I don't know, do you guys like to try new things or do you kind of like to do the same old, same old? Personally, I like to try new things. I like to learn about new things. Uh, it keeps my mind active um, and also it keeps me from getting bored, which is important, I think. So this morning for breakfast, I had very simple breakfast. I just had a couple of eggs from my daughter's chickens and those little hash brown patties that you can get to stick in the air fryer. So I had a couple of those. And for dinner, I'm probably going to have a baked potato. I have a lot of baked po I have a lot of potatoes. So um, probably have a baked potato and maybe a salad. But I'm trying to start integrating my canned veggies in my meals too so that I don't have to keep buying so much fresh produce. So those are my two meals that I planned for today. Um, and my beverages have been iced tea or I buy those little um, water enhancers. But with those I always uh, look for something sweetened with stevia. I can't always find it but I like that better than using the, uh, the Splenda. I'm kind of sensitive to the Splenda. So, that's what I've been doing. What are you guys working on? Are you working on anything specific? Are you working on decluttering, on cooking? on organizing, what are some of your projects, and how are you doing with them? So, all right, my friends, today's going to be a shorter video because I'm really kind of tired. Maybe I'll take a little snooze before dinner. It's been raining all day and cloudy, and I think we're having more of the same tomorrow. So it was a good day to do some indoor planting. Um, but hopefully it'll warm up one day this week. That would be good. So all right, my friends, that's all I have for you today. I want to wish you abundant blessings. I love you guys. Be good to yourself. Be good to others. God bless you, and I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, comment, and like. Thanks for watching!